Alright, so. How to set up console key in Borderlands. Um, Master Wellsy says he's having some problems, as you can see, so I'm remaking this. And so basically, what you'll need to do is you'll need the ZLB patch. And this is how you get it, you just copy. And then paste in browser. Scroll down to the bottom, get this ZLB patch, and download it. It'll be in downloads, which downloads on Windows 7 is just over here. If not, you could probably just type in downloads up top. And then you'll also need HXD, which HXD is a hex, like hexadecimal editor. And to get that, Control C. I I'm not the one who came up with this. This was someone in a related video. I was trying to figure out how to make it work, and this said it would work. So, is if you hex editor, I already had hex editor, but you go here. This will all be in the description. You save it, open it, run the setup, and it'll download. Pretty simple. And then, once you're done. Um, you'll have the ZLB patch, just put it on your desktop, this is for later, and hex editor will also be on your desktop. But first we need to change console key, and go to documents, my games, um, borderlands, just a game, I just crammed for a second, make a backup like that of the config file. And then input, control F or edit find, and just search console key. Here's we'll say con equals none. You change it to console key equals tilt, T I L D E, file, save, or save as, or control S, whatever you like. And that's all you need with this. So after you have um, ZLB and HXD right here, Open the ZLB patch. I have it open already. Right here. This is what it looks like inside. And we're going to need to go. I'm going to show you how to get here really quick. Um, go to Start Computer. I messed up when I was recording, so I have to start from here. So go to Computer. Then. Um, OS, S drive, C drive, local disk drive, hard drive, whatever it says, double click it, and then there's program files down here. Um, whatever you install Borderlands to is probably x86 if you have it, or x36, but it might be just program files. But I'm just going to do um, Pro with x86, I know it's in here. And then up at the top, if it says 2K game somewhere, that's probably what it'll be under. Or it might be under Steam if you got it off Steam. Or Gearbox Software, I don't know for you guys, but mine was under Gearbox Software, so I double clicked it. And then Borderlands, and then look, binaries, binaries, Willow Game, Willow Game. First, go to binaries on both the patch and in here, and just highlight these two things, drag it in, let it copy. You probably will have to copy and replace, so just hit copy and replace. Then go back on both of them. Willow game, Willow game, clicked PC, I didn't click it, clicked PC, drag the Doctor's Ed patch, it won't make you copy, or not copy, um, or place, because it shouldn't be there, unless you've tried this before, which if you have, and it's not working, hopefully this helps you, but then you come back to here, from here, you go back to here, here, from here you just hit back to here to here and then you drag the fixes in and run the fixes you have to run the fixes after you put them in I, that might have been where I messed up the last video but you run this fix first just a normal fix on any windows you're using and then after that if you're on windows 7 you have to run this fix so that should work and 
fix is done, fix is done. Awesome. You can exit the ZLB patch. But leave this open. Because you're not done with this. From here, from uh, here, you have to go back into Willow game. Double click. Then you go back to Cooked PC. So, you get engine.u. Yeah. Not editor. Wait a second. Yeah, engine.u. You get engine.u. Hold control. Click. And then drag over here. And it'll be on your desktop. And then this one, you have it highlighted. Then you click once more to bring it to this. And just do something quick to make a backup of it. So this is your backup now. This is what you're editing. You can't edit it when it's in here because it doesn't let you change anything inside this file. Like, rewrite it. So, yeah, that's why I did that. And then from here, you open up HXD and just drag this right here. Like that. It's pretty easy. Then you find, well, you want to copy this really quick. So you copy. And then go up here to edit. No, edit search. Um, replace. Then paste it right here. And notice this is in the text string, so you want to change this to hex value. Go here, copy this number, because you're replacing that with this, and you want to replace it with this one that starts with 06 instead of 07. The first four digits are different, that's all there is, and yeah, hex, replace, what's red is what it replaced, then file, save as, save, Yes, replace it. It automatically makes a backup. I accidentally made a shortcut. You can just delete the backup since um, we already have this backup right here. And then you just drag this back in. Continue. And that's that part. Okay, so next, I opened this up. I stopped recording so it wouldn't take this long. And what you want to do is come to the main menu of Borderlands and hit the tilde key. The tilde key is right under the escape key. It's a squiggly line on the keyboard. And this should pop up. If this does, hopefully it does. If not, message me. I'll try and figure out how to make it work. But then you just type enable console key. See those two words? It's enable. And then console key is one word. And enable console key. Let's see what it does when I do that. Just hit it all the way. single player. Just gonna stop recording right now. Okay, so once you're in the game, I mean, people on Junction, but your gravity won't be like that unless you changed it. But when you hit that tilde key again, this should come up. And if it worked before, it should work this time. I'm just trying to go to a really quick spot so I can show you quick, like, um, you know, console key, a key. <laughs> so you hit it, and you type no target, N-O-T-A-R-G-E-T, -E just one word. Hit enter, and notice you stopped hitting me. Now no enemies will notice you until you type it again. It's pretty awesome. And that's should be how you do console key. Hopefully this helped. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.